friends and welcome back to my channel. I'm Amy and today I'm going to be sharing with you eight different types of books that uh, are my favorites to read. Um, it's my birthday month so um, I just decided to share with you eight of my favorite as I said before. Um, as you can tell, look at my background. It's much better than the first video. It says Happy Thanksgiving and I have my books behind me. Uh, my bookshelf with some of my uh, cool Funko Pops on there. Um, as uh, I would just like to say first, these all these books that I'm going to be sharing with you, they are just, uh, they are my opinion of the some of my favorite books. Um, I don't own any rights to them. Um, so um, yeah, so let's just get started everybody. Uh, the first book I would like to share with you is a classic and one of my favorite, favorite books, and that is uh, The Taming of the Shrew by William Shakespeare. I love this book so much. It is such a fun, laugh out loud, funny battle of the sexes. I think William Shakespeare has such a gift for and knowledge of how uh, male and female uh, collide and the way they think and it just is a joy to read. If you don't know, this story is about Katerina and Petruchio and um, they uh, come together for for uh, from circumstances that is definitely not to Katerina's uh, liking and uh, they just have a battle of wits and it, it again it's a, a lot mostly of a battle of the sexes book and it is there is so much um, in you sexual innuendos and just laugh out loud moments and it is just a classic. I truly enjoy this book. The characters, the way Shakespeare uh, describes them and writes them, it just, they just jump out of the page to me and I get such a joy from reading this book. Another classic book that I absolutely love and the author I absolutely enjoy reading is none other than the great Charles Dickens and this book is called The the Old Curiosity Shop. Um, this is about a girl named Nell and her grandfather and they are uh, on the run from a money lender and one of the joys and that I love about Charles Dickens is that he writes gritty characters characters that are corrupt for money and power and it's so relatable to today and the poor just want to get rich and climb up the ladder where as the rich want to just stay up on the ladder and never let newcomers in he writes such emotional heartbreaking characters and storylines and it it just takes you on an epic journey in uh, Victorian London and just the life that different people and social classes live and I never get bored of reading this. Another one of my favorite books and authors is Jane Austen and North Anger Abbey. Um, I feel this book does not get enough love. I can so relate to Catherine Mullen being the sort of naive girl coming to like the big city for the first time and having the mindset of taking people at their word and skin deep if you will and realizing that people are not straightforward and sometimes put on a front and she I love that she learns her lesson and she and she learns and she grows from her experiences in town and I love the um <coughs> excuse me 
<coughs> Pardon me. I love the interaction between her and Henry Tilney. I think that um, that he gives her a chance to grow and and learn from her mistakes. And I love the banter and the just well-being of Henry Tilney. I love that he cares deeply for his sister and I love the relationship that they develop. Um, is again, this is just a um, pure joy to read and a delight and it just takes you to the wonderful um, time period of the Regency era and I just get lost in this wonderful story. Um, the next book type that I love to read is a uh, young adult romance, new adult contemporary romance, and one of my favorite, favorite authors is a wonderful woman named Jay Crownover and um, her book series, and this book is called Welcome to the Point, Better When He's Bad by Jay Crownover. Um, this is about a character named uh, Shane Baxter, and um, and it follows Shane on his life journey, and he has a definitely a criminal background, and but there is a reason for his actions, um, and it also fall. I, what I love about this uh, story is that not just is it a love story, but the dual perspective of each chapter. So one chapter is Shane's perspective and the following chapter is about his love interest, Dovey's perspective. So you get a well-rounded perspective on both sides of the story that she's telling. She writes gripping, emotional characters that feel so real and are in different ways relatable and just gritty and wonderful human emotion. And it's just, oh my gosh, these stories just are a wonderful read. I will say that these are not for the younger viewers, um, definitely for the um, more mature age group, but if you are looking for something unique in the romance um, uh, book genre, I would suggest uh, Better When He's Bad. If you're looking for a laughing book, and a nonfiction book, I would like to recommend. I would. Ugh, I would like to do something. <laughs> I would like to recommend to you. I can't talk today, people. Uh, Jerry Seinfeld and Sign Language. This is just a laugh out loud, funny book. It takes on different aspects of different life and different situario. Situ. Ugh. It takes on life and. Um, the different aspects of life and different situations that adults have to face and deal with and I could not put this down. I was laughing from the start to the end. Definitely if you just want a light, fast, fun pace read, I would definitely suggest Sign Language by Jerry Seinfeld. Um, if you're looking something for the to have a fantasy fix, I will recommend to you Deep, uh, Deep Blue, a water fire saga novel called Deep Blue by Jennifer Donnelly. Um, this is a, it's a call, I'm sorry, the uh, name of the series is Water Fire Saga, book one, Deep Blue by Jennifer Donnelly. Now this is about five mermaids that have to cut five, um, Six mermaids I can't, um, that have to come together to defeat a great evil and these what I love about this book is that these mermaids are like nothing you've ever seen before not like Peter Pan mermaids not like Pirates of the Caribbean mermaids not Little Mermaid Disney Little Mermaid these are 
such a different take on mermaids. They each mermaid comes from a different ocean or water and each has a unique ability. One has the ability to communicate with all sorts of water creatures. Another um, mermaid has the ability to summon water fire. Um, and it is just, wow, like I was blown away. She writes such a uh, lush and complex world of uh, betrayal, friendship, adventure. It, this book has everything. Um, the main character is Serafina and uh, a circumstance happens where she has to go uh, from her home to uh, find a way to help her people and through the way she meets different mermaids and like I said this is just a totally unique take on mermaids and I could not put it down it is such a joy to read um if mermaids aren't your thing I would like to recommend to you a slightly darker fantasy um series I call it like a fantasy thriller sort of it's not that's how I would categorize it. And it is called The Warden Man by Peter V. Brett. Now, this is um, a series called The Demon Cycle. And this is the first book in that series. And it is so good. It follows a young man named Arlen Bales. And in this world, each night, callings or demons, as they're called, come up from the ground each night and... Uh, wreak havoc on the land, killing everything in, in, their, uh, in sight, and the people have to ward their uh, land to protect themselves from that. And um, a tragedy happens in Arlen's life where he's like, enough is enough, I have to go and do something. And these books follow his journey, and oh my gosh, the dark thrills are leave you at the edge of your seat you're uh you're wondering what's gonna happen to him um this is a very more dark edgy story i would not recommend this for younger viewers um it deals with uh, adult situations um and so i would not recommend it for young ones but this is wow it was gripping thrilling action-packed uh slightly gory um edge of your seat action um that will just have you uh wanting to uh read the next book and the characters again are just these amazing characters and situations that i had never read before um it wasn't the same old oh he wants to become something else so he can wreak vengeance on you know the monsters for um killing uh someone close to him he, again peter brevet does a very deep well he writes very detailed layer characters that are flawed they make mistakes they they learn from their mistakes they he writes them so they're they just fly off the page and Again, if you are looking for action-packed, uh, intense, thrills, chills kind of story, I would highly recommend this book. And the last book I would like to recommend to you is called, it is a non-fiction book, and it is called Homer's Odyssey by Gwen Cooper. Now, this is a book about a blind black cat and um, his owner and it's about oh it's it's falling off is what it's doing um and it, if you love cats or if you love animals you will love this book it is it's an emotional roller coaster filled with laughs and cries and it'll have you rooting for the cat if you just want a feel good story that will leave you with warm fuzzies inside. This is it. it. 
like I said, if you're an animal lover of any kind, you will just love this book. Um, that's all the books for now. I hope um, you have you liked this video. If you do, please uh, like this video and hit the subscribe video. Um, it helps me out a lot. Um, and I will see you soon in my next video. Bye-bye, everybody.